Okay. So, good morning, everybody. I've just seen another car. Roads Partnership as my background. Sorry about that. I'm going to change that in a second. We'll have something a little bit more sensible. Good morning and welcome to this Zoom meeting. There's other people joining the meeting now. Can everybody just says a quick hello and a tiny second about themselves, starting with Kev. Morning, Kev, I'm Kev, as bit. everyone knows me. Um, I work a lot with Fiona, and that's why I've got grey hair. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Ian. <laughs> Introduce yourself. In me? Yeah. Yeah, hello, my name's Ian. I know Fiona through try coaching in the BTEC 4, and that's why I've got a grey beard. <laughs> Di, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Yeah, my name's Di. Um, John's I too, and John's I call. coaching, and uh, I also run my own uh, diamond strap trading. Great. Cheers, Di. Uh, Lee, got, you haven't got, give it a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, I've not worked as much with Fiona yet, so um, my hair's not quite there uh, yet, but this time. Where are you from, Lee? Uh, Manchester. So, yeah, just isolated in Manchester, um, passing the time, and uh, yeah, all good. Brilliant. Jackie. Hi, I'm Jackie, um, ADI in um, Bedfordshire. Um, on two days, the BTEC 4, so still learning lots. Brilliant. Terry? As always. Good coffee, thank you. Uh, morning, everybody. Um, I deliver the BTEC 4 with uh, Kel Morley and Kev, and that's why I'm great. <laughs> that's all, all you need to know. And I wasn't in, included in that one. That's wonderful. I heard that. I was not included. Everyone's picking on Fiona, so I thought, you know, pick on Kev as well. Uh, Neil? Yeah, Neil Whiteman, try coaching trainer on my own driving school up in Leicester. Cheers, mate. Linda? Hi there. Um, was a try, try coaching trainer, um, but I'm not anymore. No, no particular reason, but I'm just not. Um, but yeah, I just love, I love try coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All of us here love you back. Phil. <laughs> Phil. Phil. Oh, Phil. Oh, that's me, isn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, here I am. Very peaceful here down just outside Gatwick Airport, tri coaching trainer. So just chilling, enjoying the uh, the lack of sound from the airport, really. Nice. Hey, I was Cheers. <laughs> John? Hello, good morning. Good morning, John. I'm Macclesfield, Cheshire. Brilliant. I'm uh, PDI, and this is my second time round. Uh, first time round, it was more instructor led than ever before and uh, I wasn't told anything about client centred learning at all. Uh, so on the second time around I'm learning a hell of a lot from uh, Sammy Taylor and uh, the other websites that are available. Well, obviously you people seem to be a little bit more experienced than myself, I think. Uh, that, that We're all still learning. Uh, that's it, John. Um, don't, don't, don't put yourself down. We've just got different experiences. There is plenty that you can bring to this group. Please don't, please don't ever think that just the PDI thing makes any difference. Just please, just share and uh, uh, enjoy it because um, the input you give is just as valuable as the rest of us. I think we're all learning. We all learn every yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. So and don't underestimate yourself. Um, and last but not least, I think it's Steve. Is Steve the last one here? I think it's the only person I can't. Can't uh, think of else, then. I keep <laughs> I keep dipping in and out, so if this goes off, I apologise. Um, yeah, just very quiet down in South London, 
two weeks into the hostage situation. Um, <laughs> feels like I should be chained to a radiator somewhere, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, just craving a bit of outside work-related world at the moment. So, yes. Brilliant. Yeah, I think that's Thanks, what everybody. We're all, we're all kind of craving. And then there's me, of course, that you Thank haven't you. mentioned. <laughs> Sammy, you're not. You wasn't on my screen. Sammy. You just did. How could I forget, Sammy? in <laughs> trouble. Well, I'm Sammy, and um, I have done the BTEC four, and I've just finished it. <laughs> um, the ticket course, the presentation skills course with Try Coaching. I run my own little courses and, and support PDIs on a on a little group that I have. Um, and I just believe that every day is a school day. We never stop learning, and I, I really have a thirst for this. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, that's one of the things about people that are into this and people that want to come along and that's what and so John when I was saying earlier so I know I seem to be the one spearheading this but it really is I what the the, the gang the core people that are, are, are being uh, part of this little initiative it's about sharing hi Gary very welcome um, um what I want is for people to come and go, but I want people to share ideas and things rather than it being about us, the gang. Um, uh, it's, it's about us all getting together and just putting stuff out there and just having something because we're going to be like this a lot. And I agree, Steve, it's the, the lockdown thing. And why not just get together and share some ideas? Because I love it. I love hearing what other people are up to and what they think and what they do. So, uh, Gary, can you... Um, make your video acceptable. You have to allow video on the, whatever device you're using. Oh, uh, yes, okay. Brilliant, thank you. Um, so let's crack on then. It, uh, <laughs> right, then let's delegate. Who remembers what the subject of this is? This, why don't you? You tell me, Fiona. All about, <laughs> did you like that? <laughs> this, why don't you, is all about what? About oh, right, questions. Then. No, there no, isn't. Um, no, it isn't. People who That's don't want with a whole list of things. Don't. You tell me you're the instructor. <laughs> yeah, you tell us. John and Gary have got it. Yeah. What is it that we're all supposed to be discussing? <laughs> you tell me. How to deal with. <clears throat> yeah, how to deal with them. So uh, it happened just then, didn't it? Because you guys are all waiting for me to say what we're here to discuss. So I thought it was about when you get in the car and you say, what do you want to do today to whoever's sitting next to you, to the driver of the car? And they say, well, it's up to you. You're the instructor. So we're just brainstorming. We want people to share their ideas about what do you do when you get that kind of reaction? And it just seems to be absolutely impossible to draw them into engaging into the session. So got any thoughts, please? What we do? Are we raising hands? If someone wants to talk, raise hands. Yeah, easier. it's easier. It's easier because it's got to be one at a time. Yeah. Who's got a thought? Die. Uh, right, die. Go, go. Please die. First, first of all, it's it's just remembering that we're not experts. Um, the pupils the expert. I think that's the first important thing, and I think you have to be careful. Thank you, Sammy. You have to be careful um, about the question that you're asking and it's not actually too big. I think to ask a pupil what you want to do today is always going to have a response of you're the instructor, you tell me. Um, I think people are fearful of actually suggesting a topic and saying what concerns you the most about that or what interests you about that um, because that is actually getting them to get the goal rather than asking just one big question of what do you want to do today. So is that I being more agree. specific then, Di? I think it's about, um, yes, being more specific with the question. You know, um, it, it, because what we want is for the students to take more responsibility. And I think students quite often don't like to take that responsibility, particularly in the early stages. So it's making the, the questions easier to answer. Because, yeah. it, you know, if 
say to any one of you guys, you know, uh, what's the best thing about coaching? It'd be almost an impossible question to answer because it's such yeah. a big question. Yeah. But if I said to you, what do you like the most about asking questions? <laughs> so it's actually drilling that question down to make it easy enough for a student to answer. And then Absolutely. expand on that afterwards. Absolutely. Anyone else got anything to say on Dice's subject that you just brought up? Phil, go for it. Yeah, I think it's really important as well that um, before you go straight into that question, you link it back to what you've done previously. So it's a sort of natural lead on. And you can, if they can't really think of anything, you can give them several options then as to where they might want to go. Fabulous. Absolutely agree with that. Uh, Steve? Um, it was just what Di said about not being an expert and I think sometimes if you know it's that kind of superiority thing and unfortunately the opposite of superiority is inferiority so you've got to be very careful that that's not the situation that you actually end up in so I'm looking at different people as I'm looking along the boxes on the column here. <laughs> um, yes I think that's that's always going to be that the minute you give that superiority feeling you're gonna get you tell me because at the end of the day most of the people that get in our cars there is that automatic need that they want to as the person that's learning please the person that's teaching absolutely totally agree yeah I've forgotten that don't absolutely I think, forgotten that yeah yeah it's just being careful with that whole like you said you know that expert non-expert kind of situation so following on then uh, terry's got something to say but yeah i was thinking of just one second terry um i was thinking of there needs to be some way of sidestepping that and maybe that's what terry's going to talk about what were you going to say terry um i was just going to say that if you if you get that response don't take it personally you know it's 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 we all come from different backgrounds and their background the person who's given you the i don't know what you tell me their background for the whole life might have been people making decisions for themselves and they're not used to being asked their opinion they're not used to being asked what they think about something and their natural response because it's what's happened throughout the life is i don't know you tell me so don't take it personally find out yeah, that's cool. nice that is true so it's a way that there needs to be a way of kind of saying that or just having that as an agreement get it out there isn't it uh, and just to say um, um i don't care what you say the fact that you know and then just invite the conversation steve i, I think a lot of that as well is the fear of getting it wrong isn't it that that's the immediate thing uh, you know in today's they might not have ever experienced that situation where they've been put in a place where they don't know the answer. Then all of a sudden they're in an alien situation where they don't. So there's that automatic fear that we all have. Every single one of us have a fear of getting it wrong at some point. So I think there's that as well. That's often why you get that. You tell me because I'm not going to risk telling you just in case it's wrong. I, don't think we can, I think we can relate that to this as well, though, can't we? Even today. We, me and Fiona and Terry, Neil, Sammy, coming into this, you know, doing one of these is going into the unknown for most of us. And how uncertain were we this was actually going to work? Yes. <laughs> so we can, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Neil. Yeah, it's, it's possible that uh, it could be just a need to reword the question and explain it to them a little bit more. Rewording it might just help them understand and be able to do a bit. Yeah. Can you give us an example of that, Neil? Uh, if, they the say, right? <laughs> if they say, I don't know, it's sometimes it's just a bit about rewording it and asking, okay, so if you did know, or if you've seen somebody else do it before, how might that help you? That, that's the sort of thing I would say. I'm going to go along the top, Di, and then Sammy. It's following on, really, from what Neil was saying there. I think that sometimes it's just as simple as repeating back what they've just said to you. So if they say, I don't know, 
if you were to repeat back to them, you don't know. Sometimes that actually opens them up to make give them the confidence to tell you what it is they do want. And also, we have to, we sometimes have to think about the difference between what they want and what they need. Oh. And so, therefore, it's a conversation between. Okay, well, that might be what you want, but actually, is that what you need? So, repeating back. Is a great <laughs> so good. Such a good point. <laughs> Love that. Love it. Yes. Um, well, something that's popped up in my head is my, um, you probably won't believe it, but my shyness has been something that's kept me from answering questions. Appearing on things like this would have been a no no um, a few years back. And I think with, with shy people, they, do, they, they don't want to answer. They just want to sit quiet in the corner. So what I do with those people is just maybe try and um, help them because it's usually a lack of knowledge that kind of helps to boost that confidence um, because they come in the car feeling that they, they don't know anything when in fact they do. And so it's, it's about finding ways around that to, to help boost their knowledge and, and having something like a topic to discuss by giving them, say, a quiz or something um, to do and then bringing it into the next lesson. You've got something to talk about. They've, they've been away, answered the questions, and then they've got something there that they can they feel that they can talk about. So that's sometimes helpful, I find. Mm. Yeah. Steve, Steve, was you going to say something? Um, I was just... Um, thinking about sometimes as well is, is asking for permission so if you really are sort of getting nowhere with the questioning that you're using just kind of asking permission would you like me to share my ideas with you and say so stating it as a share rather than a tell you're still then sort of carrying along with the fact that they're choosing what they're taking in from what you're saying uh, yeah like choices so you, know, you could give them choices can you like would you like to try it this way or that way? You know, here's some things that we could do. Which ones appeal to you most? Boy, Can you I, um, sorry. Sorry, um, I was, okay, Steve, go on. Cause it, it's quite spontaneous. Or oh, you finish, Steve. I'm trying to say like that, you know, if there's one thing that you want to change, what is it? It is, it's different ways to guide it, isn't it? And making it clear that there is no right or wrong answer, really. It's yeah. just, that's what you're trying to give them the understanding of, isn't it? Um, we need to make sure they know it's a safe environment, yes. It's, it's safe to say whatever they want and to have their opinion. Jackie? Yeah? You're all right if I call on you? I just wondered, is, is this, as it's going at the moment, is this the kind of discussion that you wanted to be a part of? Do you think we're along the right lines as, because you brought this up. As a, <laughs> you brought this up as a, as a topic to be discussed. I just wondered if you've got any input or any thoughts so far about what we're talking about. Um. I'm interested in what everyone's talking about, Lee. I'm, I suppose I'm sort of observing more than getting involved because I feel my knowledge isn't as good as everyone else, I suppose. It most of it is, but it's my lack of confidence, I think. So I'm, I'm listening more than contributing. <laughs> and, and that's fine. It's just if, 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 you, want, if you want me to, in, uh, you know, include you, I, uh, I just, I, I'm really keen to get people to speak up. It's hard. I... I it's a shock that I am standing in this position. If if you guys knew me, well, Kev does, uh, Terry does, the, the fact that I'm standing here doing this, and I, probably, she'd probably laugh her head off if I actually let her speak at the moment. But um, things change, uh, and, and we, need a, we need to feel confident to have the voice, but it's exactly the same thing. Would you agree, Jackie? that I'm saying, no, actually, this is a safe place for you to have your say. Yeah, no, I do agree, it is. This definitely yeah. is a safe place. Um, I think um, it's, it's all about my, my lack of confidence, I suppose, contributing, but I, I will if I feel I feel something that I've got to say, then I will definitely. Brilliant, thank you for that, thank you for that. John, any thoughts about what's happened so far? Y yes, my, my thoughts on that are, uh, 
I'm not going down the pink license because I did the pink license last time. So I'm just, well, the part two was cancelled. So I'm going from the part two to the part three. Now, what I've picked up from failing last time is that you've got to get that pupil involved right from the very start. So say, for example, if, if I was in the car with, with a pupil and asking them what would they want to do today, now they'd come into that car with an idea of what they want to do. Now, let's just say they said, well, I, I want to go and do dual carriage race today, and they're not up to that standard. I'd probably say something to them. Well, you know, that's a great goal. What skills do you need to be able to go down that road, up, you know, down the, onto the dual carriage way? And find out what skills they, they've actually got, yeah? And then try and, if I'm not 100% certain that they are capable of going down the dual carriage ways, Let's see what they are capable of doing and trying to build up from that. That's and it. So and it's, it's acknowledging all about people it. People being involved in that lesson, isn't it? Yeah. It's so their it's lesson about, at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It's encouraging that, acknowledging it, and and uh, Kev's going to say something. And I know Terry's chomping at the bit. <laughs> That's his normal face. <laughs> oh, I, well, I, I just know it, that lots of people have that, um, and that's the difference, I think, where with the old version of instructor-led kind of training and please speak up guys if you don't agree with me but would you say that it used to be where it was instructor-led it was well you're not doing that you're not ready whereas now it's okay to say that's really interesting i totally get that wouldn't have even asked well, me where are you me. at now and how how do you get to that and it's not saying no which it used to be i, I heard myself saying that sort of thing you got to be joking i don't know um but it's about allowing the person to have their opinion and and just exactly as you said john saying brilliant i love that goal how do you get to be you know how do we both know that you're um along the right lines for that terry what were you going to say same thing um i was just going to go back to something um steve said um one of the one of the most important things about being a coach is being self-aware and how you ask the question is, um, is, is, is really important. Being aware of the language you're using, how you're saying it, the infliction in your voice, what your body is doing at precise moments when you ask a question. So if you ask a question like, you know, what do you want to do today? Um, it, I wouldn't, by the way. It's, not, it's, it's, it's a rubbish question, as, as Di alluded to. But when you do ask those kind of questions, be really aware of how you're saying it and what you're doing with your body at the same time, because your voice um, or your intention might be to be friendly and, and want to get a response out, but your body language or the voice might be the opposite. Completely involuntary, but it's just being about being aware of, um, of what you're being portrayed as while you're asking questions. Brilliant. Uh, Neil? Yeah, just pushing on from what Terry said there, it's also, it's being aware of uh, the pupil when you're asking that question and their body language as well. They might be not comfortable with a question that you've just asked them. Yeah, totally agree. Anyone else got anything to say? Lee, come on Lee. Hello. You must have some thoughts. Um, yeah, so um, in terms of what Terry said, the importance of knowing why, why you're asking the question, I think that's, that's really, really important, is to always bear in mind, why am I asking this question? And know why, you know, the, the overall aim is to raise self-awareness. Um, something that I don't think anyone's mentioned yet, but sometimes be transparent in what you're doing so that the pupils know you know what what i you know what am i doing and why am i doing it and what are the benefits to them because they're probably not used to that kind of um that kind of teaching style through school they'll usually be told what to do and when to do it and so this is new to them and so for them to engage in it i think it's probably really important that they know the benefits of it yeah that's brilliant i love that 
it kind of links in with, with something we spoke about quite early, I think when Di first started. Uh, so being transparent is it, it's, it's about making sure you set the scene well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Love it. Can I ask uh, a question? Yes, please, Kev. How many times do we get, I don't know, you're the instructor, you tell me what to do. How many times do we get that on lessons? Would you say? I don't. A lot less than before. Mm, I don't remember any. Don't remember any. So if I said, what is the reason behind that then, do you feel? Rapport. Rapport. Can you tell me a bit it. more about that, Sammy? Yeah. Tell you a bit more about rapport, making them feel welcome. Um, right from right from the outset, when you collect them from their house, and you kind of make this connection straight away. Um, where would you like to sit in the car? Um, you're just giving them a choice straight away. They that just giving them that little choice straight away. It makes them feel like actually they do have a say in something so if you just say right you sit there that's a completely different atmosphere isn't it so that's that's one thing um finding out about them facing them and all of that all of those skills that we use as coaches just making sure that you're doing that right from the start then you don't get that kind of thing <laughs> um that too always <laughs> Does that thing? What's that? <laughs> um, that, that, that come on, thing. come on. Um, yeah, that thing. So you're not up there and they're not down there. We're doing a soon. Yeah, together. And she, she knows. I, don't, I don't think we've done one of these yet. Is she, doing there, a soon. is she there? <laughs> Die. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's about creating that equality. And hey! Equality. <laughs> Bye! 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 That's the one. <laughs> we want that. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to you in the background. Uh, think about the way. Always listening. <laughs> um, I know that Steve wanted to say something, but I think I believe Di ha ha had her hand up first. Di, could you speak? Uh, it's, it's following on really to what Sammy was saying there. It's a bit of an analogy. Um, that, People are talking about, you know, um, students not being used to this sort of environment. And it's like, you know, if you go out with a child and they step out into the road, I think we would respond to that in a completely different way than if we went out with a friend who stepped out on the road. You know, if you had a child, you'd probably grab them by the hand, pull them back and say, look, when you're crossing the road, you've got to stay with me. I've got to show you how to cross the road. You can't just step out on the road. But if a friend was to actually step out on the road, you'd probably just put your hand out and say, bloody idiot, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, it's about that different relationship. It's about being a friend to them rather than being a parent to them. Yeah. Fabulous point. Love that. Mm. Yeah. So should we say, oi, you stupid idiot? <laughs> to the <people. laughs> Something like that, Sammy, something like that. <laughs> yeah, remember, the, this is going out live at some point. It's really not going out at the moment, I don't think. But we're just going to carry on with this. Uh, and I'll just have to apologise. Phil, one second, because Steve was first. Steve, uh, please. Just, um, go, uh, again, going back to what Sammy said about asking those questions and building that rapport when you're coming to the car. And it just triggered uh, the memory of having to supposedly use that time to watch my steering, look how I'm doing this and watch this and all of these demonstrations that you were supposed to be doing on that initial drive, instead of actually sitting there and trying to get to know this person next to you. So you can personalize an experience rather than just this big all encompassing, look what I'm doing with my hands, 10 to two, and look how I'm changing gear. And I'm pulling it this way and pushing it that way. And it's just the difference to what was we were kind of taught to do and some of us were taught to do. And what we're actually doing now, it just kind of really struck a cold there for me. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, you did you did have a head start, Steve. 
a massive head start with the lovely Lynn. <laughs> yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah. Actually, Linda, I haven't, yes. I haven't pulled on, I haven't bullied you for a while. <laughs> Have you got any thoughts? Um, I was thinking more about going back to John when he was talking about dual carriageways, because that was sort of, um, that was sort of echoing um, Di's, Di's sort of comments there with what they want and what they need. You know, that was, that was my, my thoughts on it at, just at that time. Um, but as far as rapport is concerned, I think, you know, treating them like adults from day one is, is something that um, I think it's quite hard for some, for some of the younger people. But when you, when you think about you're getting mums in the car and um, dads in the car, they want to be treated like adults. They don't want to be treated like children. They don't want to be treated like learners. And I think, um, I think to get that nice equal, equal balance, you know, they still want to learn, but they still want, they still want to be treated like adults, but, and allowed, allowed to be themselves, I think is, is really helpful. Totally agree. Phil. Yeah, I was just going to ask a question off the back of Ked's original question. Um, when he said about how often do we get that um, no you tell me you're the instructor um, how many people find that if it's a pupil you've had from day one and not to get that answer if you've yeah. had a pupil who's come from someone who's a bit more instructor led that's when you tend to get that that question yeah, yeah totally agree totally agree I'm sorry should Can, sorry who spoke then oh Phil had you finished right, I humbled Fiona, it's okay. Look, I've finished. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just like um, John right at the beginning. You know when he said um, he picked up on something about planning. You know because I think now what we tend to do is we plan for the next lesson in advance. The student comes to the lesson more prepared. I feel so if they're coming more prepared, and I know that's not just in like learners you know, instructor training as well. If they come in prepared for the lesson, they're already halfway there. And we don't tend to get that question, will you tell me you're the instructor? It's more of that equal relationship and they're more um they're more willing to tell you what they found out or what they've prepared or how they're gonna do something. And I think it's just about being prepared and planning as well. This all the other stuff was, you know, the rapport that Sammy mentioned was great, it's, but it all a big package, you know, I think with this. Um, but yeah, the planning side of things for me and being prepared really does help. Yeah. Steve and then lovely Linda. Then me. Um, I'm just going to think that what um, um, Kev said there about... I don't know, my end up, oh, at the end of a lesson that sets up the lesson next time anyway, doesn't it? Who is it? I can mute you. Uh -oh. Whose phone is it? Me. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, thank you. I was just going to mute the microphone just for a second. Um, I'm sorry, Steve. I totally missed it. Have and, you finished? Uh, listen, don't, uh, going on from what Kev said about, you know, correct feedback and doing that properly, then that kind of yeah. proves that what shall we do today? Because then they, you've already given them that kind of idea, they or helped them get that idea. They're already thinking about that, ready for the next lesson. Yeah. And what I've had in the past is, when I've done that kind of thing, um, I say, so, I'll, I'll, I don't ask that question. I tend to say something like, so what are your thoughts? Because they get in, and I know they're thinking things, because I would be when I get in, so what are you thinking about currently? Because uh, very often I hear, well, I know we said we were doing the so-and-so, but it's the weather is horrible and I don't want to do that. Therefore, uh, and again, it's tell me, and it's, I mean, if you're thinking about the GDE, that's a really good one, because this is all about the session and how that person is in relation to their session right now. Um, Linda was first in and I know I've got it, I've got it, but Linda was saying something a second ago. 
I was, I was just going to say something along the same lines as you with, with thoughts. Sometimes, sometimes I'll just come up with what are your concerns? Yeah. And I think, you know, it's, 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 it sounds a little bit negative, but I think sometimes they've got their negative feelings and to get them out there is, is sort of opening up, you know, what, what's going to, you know, what's going what's the worst that can happen sort of thing. Just to, yeah. just to get it out there. Um, and sometimes the concerns are really not, not that big at all. Well, to us, but yes. yeah, exactly. But yes, yeah. yeah. But um, uh, I know for myself, if I'm concerned about something, it's overwhelming. So it will make a difference to anything that happens from that point. So if I yeah. am concerned that I even as basic as really blue, that is my focus for the next for the foreseeable future and anything else is is secondary to the i need the loo right ian yeah ian yeah welcome back come He's on forgotten. what are you chomping at the bit with you what you yeah no, now he's just... written it down 12 billion pieces of paper <laughs> no no it's just like so i've been sitting here just listening and watching and you know, why did I start doing what I did with try coaching BTEC 4? And it kind of leads to that very question you, about telling them that's the one thing I don't want to do, ultimately. So, for example, everybody's saying about the first lesson about, oh, what chair are you going to sit in and blah, blah, blah. But I, I try to meet them even before a lesson, before we even got in the car. So, so we, you're establishing that. Yeah. So from the first lesson, we already we're already going to have a plan for their first lesson. Yeah. So their first Thank lesson you. will be as soon as we get in the car. Well, where am I sitting? So I just, you know, and that's, that's, that's another that's another chat we're having. And it all uh, really, that's another. Why don't you? Is, and, uh, so, about and, that first and then I'll say to him even before that first lesson so look there's going to be times when I know for a fact you will want me to tell you I know that's coming no matter what okay that's the easiest but these, way. But these are the reasons I won't tell you and this is so this is before the first lesson so if they don't like this they don't have to have that first lesson in my opinion I'm not wasting my time they're not wasting it. Does everyone agree with that? Is that fair enough for me to say? That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all got that, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> I, I Ken's shaking his head. Ken's shaking his head. I, but I remember all this. So I've got it pinned. Is a, a something I read that Sue's, Susan done. And I've got it down off my board there. So I've got it. Here, yeah. And it, was, yeah. it was about, it leads, so basically it started with coaching is about choice consequences and responsibility if you tell your pupils how to steer was the actual thing but you can change steer to anything you want so ignore the word steer so you you know you can change to the first lesson you can change whatever you want to change it to it doesn't matter in my opinion but if i tell you i'm denying you the opportunity to make a choice which is why i won't tell you yeah okay. If I tell you, then you're unable to experience and, di and discuss the consequence of that choice. Yeah? So it's quite easy, isn't it? You know, in the lesson, yeah, you're going to try it. If it doesn't work, why? What went well? What did, what did you learn from it? I don't know what you're feeling. Only you can feel what you're feeling. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's quite, you have to go deep. Yeah. No? In the car, it's deep, it's deep. Yeah. It's not about yeah. you know it's not about me. It's all them. They're they're the ones learning. Yeah. But I'm true. learning as well. I'm learning how they learn. They all, everyone learns differently. So yeah. they might want to see so I love your balls. I love your with the little cars. I love my little cars. Everybody loves my <laughs> little cars. Oh what a great tool though, isn't it? You just give it to them with all the cars. So look, we're just about to drive off from here. This is your first lesson. Just show me with these cars, how you're going to drive up this your, you know, it could be your road. They might want to start outside their house. Who knows? I don't know. 
But I've got to be prepared for that. Now, if, they, if they're starting on the main road, I'm going to be sitting there on the first lift and thinking, nah, <laughs> not a chance. You know? So I've got to talk them around from that. I understand that. But, that, you know, they might turn and say, I've driven 10 hours already. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, but you've got to... That's going further, isn't it? Yeah, because the screen yeah, keeps going. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all about the first lesson, which, which you bring everything that you're saying back, because we're going to have this as another topic. So okay. I know you'll be back chomping at the bit for that one. Thank you, yeah. though. Thank you. Di? That's, that's why I don't tell them. Sue's, <laughs> Sue's thing. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah, let's not give her that big a head. Uh, Di, what were you going to say? <laughs> Well, I know she's listening. Listening. <laughs> you know, it's about how people learn. Um, this is experiential learning that we're talking about here. And people learn through experimenting, reflecting, and developing. And it's about giving them the opportunity to do that. Um, and it starts off with them setting their own goals. That's where yeah. it starts. And then it's allowing them just to have a go at it, us providing a safe environment in which for them to do that. And then for them to reflect on what they've just done and to develop it. And then to have, go and have another go and do exactly the same thing again. Um, when we ask the question, how much help do you want with this? And they say, oh, I need you to talk me through this. Well, then we have to put a limit on that and say, that's fine. How many would you like me to talk you through before you have a go on your own? Because otherwise there is always that, that point of, well, I'll, I'll, you just keep me, talk me through it. Just keep talking. Well, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, yeah. so it's the way people learn. We, we have found out now that four competencies don't work. Four competencies keep the car safe. Yes. Experiential mm. learning is all about reflection and development. It's how we all mm. learn. Absolutely. Yeah, totally agree. Totally agree. Um, start to think about because I'm going to start the closing process now um, and I'm just going to read out some of the points that I've written down but just in case can I ask you guys to think about um, what you would think has been beneficial for you of this and would you recommend that other people stick their name down and to join in in one of the next topics we've got a list and I can't remember what it is at the moment Kev, Kev what's the next one we're doing, do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, okay. Kev, could you please tell me now <laughs> what the subject is for the next one? Um, I think I gave the list to Terry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I no, we did. We had did. A, <laughs> oh, it's, okay, um, it's, it's when you get it, it's what Ian was talking about. Uh, the first, first lesson. First lesson. Why, don't, why don't you? Why don't you coach the first lesson? That's what we're doing on the next one. Why oh, don't you? Sorry. I'm not saying you can't. I'm not saying you can. It's about us all getting to, together to discuss the barriers. Uh, why people say you can't coach the first lesson? I only start coaching later on. So that's the next one. Um, so start thinking about your summaries if you want to add one. But we started off with um, wow. making sure you set the scene, be transparent, and it's okay that you say and you state that this is a, um, an equal relationship in the car. Uh, you have every right to have an opinion about what we do, uh, and it's fact. It's, it's better for your learning. Uh, repeating back, it's... Uh, repeating back the question or the, the response, what do you want to do today? And just repeating it back, as Di said, can't think of the example she, she gave, but well, repeating I... whatever they just said to you back to them and then just waiting a couple of seconds. And I think that's key as well, isn't it? I think sometimes, uh, and I'm guilty of that, uh, three questions, one, two, three. And I think I still do it, probably still do it in this forum as well. So it's something I'm trying, I'm working on. Um, and then Di again was saying, what you need, is it the same thing as what you want? Or what do you want and what is it that you need? They are completely different things. I love that because I'll be, that will be mental chewing gum for me for the rest of the day, I think. Um, make sure they know it's a safe environment. Um, 
what do you want to do today? I think that was Kev or Terry. Was it Kev? What do you want to do today is a rubbish question. Who said that one? Oh, no. Terry. Terry. Yeah, it is a rubbish question. Um, this is too open. It's not. It's not. Um, and then who said, uh, what's the pupil for their reaction? Because that's spot on. Lee. That's me. Lee. Neil. Brilliant, Neil. Thank you for that. Neil. I mean... Uh, uh, it's a really good thing. Why am I asking this question? That was Lee. Mm. Mm. Why am I asking this question? That's so good. It's, I mean, that is something. If you if you stick that on the dashboard of you as a post-it note, just stick it on the dashboard. That could change your interactions in a car. Love that. Um, uh, <laughs> so I'm thinking about Di pushing her mate in front of the car. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, be a friend, not a parent. So it's not, uh, it's not that parent, that, mm -hmm. that leadership role and trying to get back. They will keep putting us back up there. They will keep making us the expert, but we can take the opportunity to bring it back down. Um, planning from the session before and how that makes a massive difference. Mm -hmm. it makes a massive difference to, um, a person's ability to get in the car and actually, uh, um, what's the word, engage and take ownership of their learning. So the fact that we do that, more of us do that. And then um, just checking out before the session starts. Uh, experiential learning. And that is, that is the point of it. We do learn in our own way. And the client-centered learning or the coaching approach is the only way that that happens. Um, and having, yes. Um, um, I remember having a conversation with <clears throat> a colleague who said to me, but I know exactly what they're doing on session number eight. It doesn't matter who they were. I know what they will be doing on session number eight. And it was a phrase that stuck with me um, because it was, that was on the start of my coaching journey. And I just thought, oh, yeah, uh, it, 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 was, it had a big impact. Has anyone got any thoughts about what this, what they've got out of this little chat? Just listening to everybody else. It's been great. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Di? Um, yeah, I, I think um, somebody made a very valid point earlier on, you know, you never stop learning. It doesn't matter how far you get into this coaching, there's always something else, you know, that you can learn. And I think in environments like this, it's fantastic to, to listen to everybody else and get ideas from everybody else, you know, because there's always something else. Yes, I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jackie? I think um, the main thing I've sort of got out of it is that uh, um, by actually realising I know more than I, I do know by listening to you all, really. So it sort of reinforces my confidence of it, really. So, so it's good. And by tender knees, I feel like I can contribute a bit more to to things really so it's good to get my head back into this zone i've been sitting there doing nothing for too long <laughs> yeah yeah that's right now i really loved having you here jackie lee um i just um something terry said um about being mindful of how you ask the questions i think that's important for us to remember got sorry Ooh, my dog's yes. biting me my arm at the minute so <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, especially going back into the car whenever we do, you know, um, and we've all been sat around for that long, just to be mindful of, of how we come across body language, uh, tone of voice. Making You're coming sure across we... a bit mentally, just let you know. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm just so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's it, really. So I, I've got a really good example of that right now, Lee, is... Mm -hmm. Why did you say that, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> this is really, oh, look it, at that. <laughs> because I want hey, to. Hey, don't call him that. His name's Lee. Yeah, Lee. It's, um, uh, but it's, it's true, isn't it? It's the yeah. type of question and the body language and all the rest of it. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Who was next? Someone, someone had their hand up and I forgot who it was. Steve, I think. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to say that it's great to see that other people have got different opinions as well and different thoughts around it as well. Yes, yeah, brilliant. Steve? Sorry, I've just been attacked by the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Did it see the dog? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just, 
Uh, what Di said about you never stop learning, and I think this is a perfect example of that. We've all been kind of throwing ideas into this pot. There are no right or wrong answers. We're all talking about what we do, how we do it, how we think, and how we try and help. And I think that it just, you know, exactly what this is. So <laughs> what Di said is exactly what we're doing now, just having these conversations. Um, and I think it's a big learning curve for all of us. Just hearing, and as you said, Fiona, about one of my uh, light bulb moments was really similar to yours when someone said about to you about knowing what they're doing on lesson eight. I can remember really early on somebody telling me about lesson plans and that if they did round uh, junctions the day before, they'll be doing crossroads the next lesson. And when I, I just thought, am I doing this wrong? Because this is not what I do. <laughs> and it's nice to know, I think, that this is now... I am doing things correct. I am, you know, it's not wrong. Finding these communities and having these different ideas that are still, I would hope, becoming uh, more, you know, more normalised, but there are still a lot of people out there that don't really understand, who think coaching is about saying, what would you like to do today? A lot of people do think that's what, that's what we mean by coaching. And... That's one of the next ones as well. Don't say too much because that is another uh, why don't you or one of the, we're planning on a whole series of these. So please keep, a, um, I'll, at the moment I'm going to be the one controlling it, but that's just because we need a point of contact. Um, yeah, you can that's the only reason. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Kev, what were you going to say? I think Di just said something. I couldn't hear what she oh, said. Oh, sorry, Di, go on. I said, I said Fiona was a control freak and we're used to it. It's okay. <laughs> Come to my world. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> right. So, uh, welcome back next time when Kev will be having a shaved, <laughs> well, no, not shaved, a, skin, a pink skinhead. Right. Snoot? <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. a little bit of fuzz on the top. I think pink is good. It's going to be a good colour for you. Kev, uh, any closing thoughts? Please. No, it was just really nice and um, hopefully these can continue, um, you know, just so that we can just stick together and, you know, share things and just, you know, just enjoy what we've got. Brilliant. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, my closing thoughts are uh, just as I'd hoped when I started to ask people, would you be interested in this? what my dream was was that it would be okay someone needs to to say who talks next but i just wanted it to be an equal forum for sharing ideas and you, you guys have just made it so wonderful and uh jackie and oh god it's it's where's he gone john. uh john he, he was here a while ago but he's gone uh so i was looking for him on the screen um still there, I think. I'm still there. <laughs> Have you got any thoughts before I close? But it's, you know, the, the, the fact that, you know, I want this to be something where people can actually say, well, I, I would like to speak, but I don't feel I can. But I just really want, I just really want that for the future. So, John? Yeah, no, no, I think it's been a very, very interesting session. Uh, and from my previous experience of being instructor-led, to this coaching, which is a completely different subject, but a very, very fascinating subject. And I can see, I just went for a rescue, a rescue package with a client centered trainer, and I could see the difference and the difference in my pupils before yeah. I, I lost my license. Um, it's definitely the, the road to go. And remember, it's all about post test for these pupils. And they definitely learn a lot more by working the things out for themselves. Uh, yeah. without you telling them and it's brilliant I think and I just need yeah. more experience like you people getting the right questions to ask keeping my mouth shut and not telling them too much that's the main oh. thing as well and <laughs> as you say just being on the, the same forum as them and everybody uh, being equal so what, I, I think this what space... I've got to do is listen to the people of yes. what their needs are absolutely um, totally agree totally agree um, so very, watch very this space, keep an eye on this, we'll post it, um, it will be the same 
the same thing, but we'll, I'll just write underneath what the, the next topic will be. Um, send me a, an email if you want to be a part of it, but uh, I will put it out there and hopefully we can share it around so that the more people have the opportunity to see it, the better, I think. Um, I would like to invite you guys, I'm going to stop the recording now. I'd like you to feel invited to come back for um, an, an after chat just to see what was good and what was, you know, what we could do to develop. So I'll end the meeting for now. Um, I, I, uh, and I'll invite you back in once I stop the recording. Thank you very much. So I'm just so we'll all we'll end it now, and then if you want to come back and have a post group chat, um, please feel free. You just need to click the link again, and the room will open. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.